So in the small chance that you don't know who Emily Tembe is, today I'm going to be reacting to 10 of my favorite looks that she's created recently. Grab your popcorn because this shit about to get good. Okay, we're gonna start off with a really, really good look. So this look right here is one of my favorite looks ever. The combination of the rainbow, the splatter kind of dripping down her neck, plus the pearls all around her eye, I just think is so fun. This is like a really glamorous yet colorful spin on, I would call this a skeleton makeup look, but as like non-traditional skeleton as you can imagine. But this is just so beautiful and like every single part of it, if you like really zoom in, is executed so flawlessly. The blend around her eye, like with the colors, is blended to filth. Just the placement of everything is spot on. I just, I love this look so much. And this is one of the first looks I believe that I ever saw from her. And immediately I was like, follow, subscribe, take my money. Absolutely love this look. So this next look, just to kind of give you some comparison, is one of her more natural looks. So this is a very everyday makeup look. This is probably like, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, I'm gonna do some stuff around the house, but I wanna look glam and beautiful kind of look. <laughs> but this is stunning, she's so beautiful, and this, this is a really beautiful natural look. Also those brows, they are the definition of fleeked. Like, I wanna take those brows and just put them right here on myself, okay? Okay, so next up, Emily created an Avatar-inspired makeup look. This is literally straight out of Pandora. This is, again, executed flawlessly. I really like the little the little dots, the white dots all over. I feel like it just adds a lot of dimension, and it really just gives that polish, that polished effect to the look. I've seen a lot of people do the Avatar look, and they really don't go into as fine detail like Emily does. Did that make sense? As fine of de as fine of detail as Emily does. There we go. She just really does pay attention to the small things, and I really feel like it's those small things that always take something and elevate it to the next level. Like I give this a solid 10 out of 10. Like if she skedaddled across the screen in the next Avatar movie, like I wouldn't think twice. I'd be like, oh, she belongs there. <laughs> like this is just flawlessly done. Okay, next, this terrified me for Easter. This is her take on a, like a deranged Easter bunny. Like if my kids ever act up, I'm gonna be like, oh, you want the Easter bunny to come tomorrow? Like this is what you're gonna get. You know, like this is so great. And I don't know what the texture is. I don't know what's on her skin. It looks like foil, but I don't know how it could be foil, but it's giving that foiled effect. I would really like to know actually what it is, but I think it's super, super cool. I really like how she left the one side out of her eye just to give that dimension. I feel like if she had done just the full face with the rabbit, like it, I don't know, it would still be cool, but I feel like this just, again, it's those small things that really just allows her to be creative and just take it to the next level. I think this is super fun. This is one of those things where I'm like, is this terrifying or is this cool? I still can't decide. All right, this next look is straight out of La Florian. If you know, you know. This is giving elf, this is giving fairy, this is giving cute. I love the vibes. Again, the graphic liner, if you look closely around her eye, she has the graphic liner going above and around, just little swirls, those little things. Had she left those off, I still think this overall, like, fairy elf vibe would have still done what she wanted it to do. But again, I feel like it's those small details that take the look to the next level. I do think it would have been fun to have maybe more glitter. I feel like some more glitter would have been cool. Maybe had it been in the hair or just something on her face. I really think some glitter or some gemstones would have been really cool, but maybe also it would have been too much and kind of overwhelmed the look. Maybe she was just going for that simple like elf kind of aesthetic and regardless, she did it, she nailed it, it looks beautiful. Next up, if you don't like clowns, you probably won't like this look, but I love this look. This is very jester, very clown, very sad clown. I love this. I really, really think the hair is what makes this entire look. I'm glad that she didn't stick like with her natural real hair. I'm really glad that she put on this wig. This, the red, the pink is such a beautiful color and it ties in so well to the makeup itself because obviously you can see in her crease she has the pinks and then down on the cheek she has the pink blush where the little circles are. I love that. The lip, obviously, what would you put on the lip other than black? Of course it should be black, but I really like that she extended it and gave it that kind of eeriness to it. I think this is a really creepy look. Again, especially if you start looking at each little piece of this look overall. I feel like if you look at it from just like far away, you're like, wow, this is a really cool, you know, clownish makeup look. But if you zoom in and you look at each part individually, just from the brows the way they're structured, she did the cut crease, which is still beautiful and it brings in that sense of glamor to this. I love, obviously it looks like tears running down her face with the mascara, but then you have blood spatters on top of it. It combines with the neck. Overall, there's just like a lot of elements to this entire look and I just feel like it's all done in a way that's not overwhelming. It's very cohesive and I freaking love it. Okay, this look is one of my favorites ever, ever, ever. So what she was doing here is she was showing off a bunch of different looks all in one. So it's kind of like a canvas almost. So each section she had done like at the top was when she had done that, I think it was like uh, Carrie and had the blood, but it was like with the gemstones or the rhinestones. You know, she has glamour on the one eye. She has that clownish kind of purple on the, on the one section. And then her chest and the bottom part of her face is the, you know, heat miser, snow miser comparison. But 
I just thought this was super cool because she incorporated all these different looks into one and it still ends up being executed in a way that looks so badass. And if you haven't seen her video, it went super, super viral. She had done this type of setup, but she had done other looks that she had done in the past, but did the same thing where she did the sections. It went so crazy viral on literally every platform as it should have. It's so cool. I think this is absolutely amazing. But again, going into the attention to detail aspect of this, if you zoom in, yes, you see all the little sections, but in between the sections, you see the little stitches that kind of stitch everything together like it's, you know, like skin, like pieced all together, like Leatherface who? Like, I think it's things like that that people overlook, but again, it's just those little things that elevate this entire look to the next level. Would it still be bomb AF without them? Sure, but again, it's just one of those things where I'm like, wow, that's literally amazing, and I probably wouldn't have done that. Okay, so this was the look that I was talking about with the Carrie look. So I don't know if this is actually meant to be Carrie or if it's just meant to be some like homecoming queen kind of thing, but to me, it just, it was Carrie to me, you know, like the movie, yeah. So again, super, super cool. She could have just done the blood. It would have looked cool. It would have been great for Halloween, but she took the time and the effort and she put gemstones on all the areas that the blood is running down her face and her neck. And I just think that's so cool. I just, like this is a very simple look for what it is. It's glam makeup with the blood and the gemstones, but all together though, ultimately, it's such a cool look. And I really would like to try something like this for Halloween. And I'm not the most creative person, like creative makeup artistry kind of stuff, like stuff like this and special effects and that kind of stuff isn't my vibe. I really wish it was. I really wish I had that skill set. But I feel like something like this is definitely something that I could do and I'm going to challenge myself to do this year for Halloween because why not? I already said we have two looks left. This next one, again, I wanted to include just to kind of showcase her versatility. Obviously, you've seen a bunch of really creative looks so far. They're all very, very, very different, very colorful, very fun. But this look is just going back to just that beautiful, glam, simple, but stunning kind of look. I don't quote me, but I think she did this look when she was going to a beauty event. I could be wrong. She goes to a lot of beauty events because she's in demand, because she a baddie. I could never, but I could be wrong, but I think that's when she done this look. But either way, it doesn't matter. This is stunning. I love the hair. Oh my God, I love the hair. I just think it goes so well. Again, I can't see her full outfit, of course, but just, I, I can assume what it looks like, just like that black kind of leather dress kind of moment going on. It goes up her neck, the earrings, the hair. This is fierce. This is the definition of fierce. Like, hell yeah. And then again, we do a 180 and it's something like this. Like, I think this is such a cool look. For me, what really, really makes this look is the eyes. The eyes are piercing. The eyes just provide so much contrast. But the heart itself is super, super cool. I really like the spikes that are coming off of the face. Again, she could have just left the face makeup only and not done the neck. But again, it's the black paint running down the neck that really just takes it to the next level and makes it cohesive. And I just think this is super, super fun. If you zoom in and you look at the blend and the contour on the nose up into where her crease is, like the dimension there is literally perfection. It is so seamless. It's just, she is the definition. I know I've said it 112 times. I'm gonna say it for the 113th time. She's like the definition of attention to detail. It's those little things like I need to start taking notes because what she does is just absolutely incredible. And I am so, so proud of her and her successes that she has on social media. And again, being such a versatile makeup artist is so amazing. And I am forever and always an Emily Temby makeup stan. You will see me drooling over her content all day, every day. She is absolutely phenomenal. So those are 10 of my favorite Emily Temby makeup looks. I know she's put out a bunch more since I had saved these photos. So definitely if you guys wanna see a part two, I'm happy to do a part two. Please make sure you're showing Emily as much love and support as you can on her social. She is also here on YouTube if you wanna go check her out and subscribe to her channel. I'm sure she would appreciate it. If you have a creative makeup artist you'd love to see me react to, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get those videos made for you. I really love reaction types of videos more than anything because it allows me to showcase some of my my favorite makeup artist to those of you who may not know them. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's reaction video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family and I will see you guys in the next one.